Alright, so this is kind of cool. Um, I'm going to introduce you to the idea of, of set builder notation. Um, and we're going to solve this linear uh, inequality and then we'll write, write the solution in, in, in different ways. And uh, one of the ways will be in set builder notation. So first of all, I'll just review uh, a linear inequality um, is an inequality involving a, a linear function. And you can think of it as, you know, um, instead of an equation, instead of 4x equals 20, uh, it's, it's saying 4x is not equal to 20. And the way in which it's not equal is, is it's, a, it's actually less than 20 in this case. So um, it's a linear inequality. Um, Meaning it's an inequality that uh, if you were to graph it, it the the boundary line would be would be a line you know uh, it's not a parabola or something like that so uh, so much like a linear <coughs> excuse me much like a linear equation except it's not an equation they're not equal they're they're not equal you know whether by being less than or greater than or whatever so um, so let's look at this just simple linear uh, inequality 4x is less than 20. We could solve that. You solve it just like an equation, uh, with the exception that if you happen to divide or multiply both sides of the inequality by a negative number, you have to switch the direction of the of the sign. Um, uh, in this case, we're okay. We're not you know we're not dealing with any negative numbers here, so we're gonna we want to get x by itself. So it's being multiplied by four, so we're gonna divide by four. Uh, so we have to do that to the other side as well. So we've got x. Um, is less than um, 20 divided by 4 is 5. Wow, gosh, that's terrible. Let me let me redo both these. So it's less than uh, 5. Okay, so this is this is one way of writing the solution to this inequality. Um, x is less than 5. Uh, we could also graph the solution on a number line. And there's all these, all different ways of of visualizing or representing information. So, you know, no one way is better than the other. Absolutely, um, it just depends on what what you're using it for. So we could just graph uh, a number line here. We could have the number the number five, and uh, everything to the left is, or you know, as you go to the left, numbers are decreasing. As you go to the right, numbers are increasing. So x is less than five. So um, x is, x can't be five, but it's but it's everything less than five. So I'm gonna leave this as an open circle like that, and just indicate that anything that's less than five is fair game here. So that's a way to graph the solution. Um, I can also graph it on a coordinate plane. You know, so this is a two-dimensional uh, or a one-dimensional um, method of graphing. Um, Here's a two-dimensional method where I have uh, that's my x and y axes. Here's the boundary line x equals uh, one, two, three, four, five, and the shading is saying that you know everything that's to the left or less than is, is fair game. So that's the way to represent the solution. What else? Uh, let me think. Um, less than five. So we've got. You could also do interval notation. So everything from negative infinity up to five, non-inclusive, um, is fair game. So that's the interval notation. So these are all different ways of representing the solution. Now um, you can represent it using set builder notation. So first of all, what's a set? Let's just review. Um, you know, I could I could write out a set of numbers like this. Um, you know, three, four, um, five, six. You know, that's a set of numbers. A set of numbers is is a group of numbers that has has some kind of um, well-defined rule or reason for being part of the set. Um, here, I'm just I'm just listing all the um, you know, integers, I guess, you know, keep going forever this way and forever that way, going by um, a step of one each time. So some kind of rule that defines, you know, in other words, it's not a random collection of numbers, right? 
Um, so that's a set, so you can actually write it out. But there's also a set builder notation, which instead of actually listing out the the elements of a set, you you basically describe the rule that populates that set with numbers. It's the rule that that tells um, whatever the universe what numbers to put inside that set. So instead, you know, if you have a set with an infinite number of numbers in it, you really don't want to write out all of them. And it's really even kind of cumbersome to write out, you know, dot, 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 and a few of the numbers to give, you know, the basic pattern, and then dot, dot, dot. You know, this is just kind of sloppy, or it can be, depending on what you want to use it for. So set builder notation is um, is a way of, of describing the set in terms of the rule that defines the set. So, um, so for example, um, for this solution, what I would do is, so it's a, it's a set. And I'll say um, um, x is an element of R. Okay, so this little symbol here says that um, the thing to the left of it is a part of the set to the right of it. So I'm saying x um, belongs to the set of, uh, now the capital R is all real numbers. And, you know, if you don't know that, that's fine. You don't know set builder notation yet. So I'm, I'm just giving you an example of what it could look like. There's all kinds of things, you know, all real numbers. There's a symbol for integers. I think that's capital Z. There's a set for uh, all kinds of things. So you can learn those symbols if you want. Um, it'd be cool. So, okay, so X um, is um, all real numbers such that um, this big bar is such that um, x is less than 5. And then I close my set here. So here's the rule that defines what goes um, in the set. Actually, there's two rules here. Um, x has to be a real number. And I'm just doing that to be kind of technically correct. And, you know, No imaginary numbers allowed. x is a real number such that x is less than 5. So anything less than 5. So to kind of convert this into to normal English. Um, so this or 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 this or this um, as set builder notation is this and to convert that into kind of normal English the answer is a real number as long as this real number is less than five. It's kinda of how I would translate that. So set builder notation is kind of a cool thing. It's um I would encourage you to explore it and kind of learn, you know, learn the symbols, learn the different rules, uh, learn what you can do. Um, because once you kind of learn set builder notation, you'll be able to understand some some complex and interesting stuff. Uh, this is a very efficient way of describing sets of numbers. You know, just a little thing like that can describe, um, you know, all kinds of information. So there's the answer to a linear uh, inequality, the solution set of a linear inequality expressed in set builder notation.